Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. My name's Stephanie. I'll be doing your HIV test today. I'm Max. Nice to meet you. You too. So, Max, before we get started, I just want to take a few minutes to talk about the test and what we're doing today. Is that all right? Yeah, sure. Cool. So, the test that we'll be using today will take about 20 minutes to develop. And while that's developing, you and I will have a chance to just chat about HIV and what brought you into test today. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm just ready to get my result. So the rapid test we use here is done by collecting a small dot of blood from your finger. I will prick your finger and I will place the blood directly onto the test. This is going to feel like a small pinch on your fingertip. Is that all right with you? Yeah, I'm not grossed out by blood. There are two results that you can receive today. The first is negative, which means that the test did not pick up any HIV infection. The second is positive, which means that the test did detect HIV infection. In the case that someone does test positive, we ask that you go to a clinic to be tested again. Does that make sense? Yeah. In rare cases, the test doesn't work properly. If that's the case, then we can just collect another sample of blood and then we will do another test. I know I just said a mouthful. Do you have any other questions? No, I'm just ready to take my test. I also want to mention that in case your test does come back negative, depending on how recently you may have been exposed to HIV, we may recommend that you test again. Does this make sense? Yeah, sounds good. If you don't have any other questions, just review this form and sign here. And that's just saying that you're giving us permission to test and that I explained all this stuff to you. Okay. Great. Thank you. And here's a pamphlet with some more information about the test today. And if you don't have any other questions, then we can get your test started. Okay. While we're waiting for the test, why don't we talk about what brought you in for HIV testing today? Yeah, well, my partner and I had sex without a condom about two months ago, and I just wanted to come in today, get a test, and make sure that I'm good. Okay, you and your partner had sex without a condom two months ago. Uh, do you, you happen to know your partner's HIV status? Yeah, he's positive. Uh, he has been for a few years now, since before we got together. Okay, and is he taking antiretroviral treatment for HIV? Yeah, so he is on meds, uh, but he doesn't take them every day. We're both really, really bad at taking pills every single day. But he had a checkup, and his doctor said that he's not virally suppressed right now, which got me worried about that time two months ago. Well, it sounds like you and your partner are open and honest about your health, which is really awesome. It also sounds like you know a significant amount about HIV transmission. Tell me a little bit about viral suppression. Well, I think that... If he's virally suppressed, that means that he's undetectable. And as Dr. said, if he's undetectable, then that protects me or something like that. That's absolutely correct. When someone with HIV achieves an undetectable viral load, they're protecting their sexual partners. If someone is undetectable, HIV is untransmittable through sex. Does your partner have a plan to get back on his meds more regularly? Yeah, he has a pill tracker from his doctor. And he also is going to be using reminders on his phone. Those are some great steps. You said that you and your partner had sex without a condom two months ago. Do you two use condoms regularly? Yeah, we're normally really good about condoms. Two months ago, we were partying. We didn't have one. We've used one every time since then, though. And we've gotten better at it ever since I've been off of PrEP. Condoms are a great tool. And it sounds like you have some familiarity with PrEP. Can you tell me about your experience with it? Yeah, so I got on PrEP when I got with my partner because he's positive and his doctor recommended it. I didn't have any major side effects or anything. I'm just not good at taking pills every day. So I haven't been on PrEP for like a year. Thanks for sharing all that. PrEP is another great tool, but taking pills every day just doesn't work for everyone. But there is now an option for long-lasting PrEP which would just require a injection every two months. We can connect you with someone to discuss this option if you're interested. Condoms still remain a great alternative though. I know I've just given you a lot of information and asked you a lot of questions. Do you have any questions for me? I don't really have any. That's pretty cool about long lasting prep. I'm just ready to get my result. I understand. The test is almost finished, but we still have a few minutes. Do you remember when I said that we may recommend you test again? Yeah, is that the case with me? Yes, it is. The test that we're using today may not pick up an infection as recent as two months ago. For some people, it takes up to three months for the infection to show up on this HIV test. But it's still a really good idea to get your result today so you can rule out any infection from previous exposures. Does this make sense? Yeah, I just wanted to know when I left today. I understand. If your test comes back negative, we can talk about retesting options. 
One of those options would be to get an HIV test processed by a laboratory. Clinics can run lab-based tests that can detect HIV much sooner. Antigen, antibody lab tests can detect HIV as soon as 45 days after exposure. We can talk more about that when we get your test results. Sounds good. I'd like that. Also, we can discuss some options that prioritize both you and your partner's health. No matter what your result is today, we can come up with a plan for the future. That sounds good. It sounds like I have some options. Thank you. Hi again. I have your test. Are you ready to hear your results? Yeah, I was a little nervous, but I'm, I'm ready for my result. Your test came back positive. Wait. Are you, are you sure? The test is highly accurate, so it's very likely that you have HIV. <sighs> Whoa. It's very natural for people to feel stunned when they find out that their test result is positive. Something that clients have told me in the past is that it's very helpful for them to just think about what happens next. Would that be helpful for you? Yeah, I, I, I mean... I knew this was a possibility, but my partner and I just messed up once. That's okay. We don't have to do anything right away. I can sit with you for as long as you need. And before you leave today, we can give you resources so that when you're ready, you have options. Something that is really important is making sure that we connect you with a doctor who knows about HIV. Do you currently see a doctor? I, I rarely go to the doctor. I have a job, but I don't have insurance. Okay. We do have someone here who spends time with people and sees what's available for them in terms of financial support for medical care. Her name's Rosa, and she is our benefits specialist. She's really knowledgeable and can help you. Yeah, that sounds like it'd be helpful. I just, I don't even know where to begin. Getting your result today was a really important place for you to begin, and we can take it step by step. Sometimes people who test positive have people that they want to inform about the result, or people that they want to get tested. We have a service that offers assistance with this. This service is completely confidential, which just means that we can call those people and they don't have to have any of your information. I know I've said a lot. What questions do you have for me? Yeah, this is a lot. I just need to talk to my partner. What are your feelings about talking to your partner? I mean, I don't know. We've definitely talked about this. I, I, I don't want him to feel guilty. I just wasn't ready for this. Not today. Not not at all. We can just take it one step at a time. Tell me about what the rest of your plans were for today. Well, I was going to meet up with a friend, and we were going to go to dinner with my partner. Okay, tell me about your friend. How would it feel to talk to them about your result? Well, he's a nice guy. We've been through a lot together. We know a lot about each other. And, I mean, I don't know, though. Maybe he's someone that could help you through this difficult time. Yeah, I just think this is something I should talk to my partner about, you know? That makes sense. We do also have support here, though. We have some trained folks and people with HIV that get together to talk about their experiences. I'll think about that. In addition to connecting you with someone who can help you with medical financial support, it's also really important that we connect you with a doctor who knows about HIV. Starting HIV medication as soon as possible is a really valuable step in your health, and you can talk to your doctor about starting these medications immediately. Before I walk you over to Rosa, here's some more information about those support services I just mentioned, and please feel free to take some lube and condoms. Yeah, okay. We'd like to stay in contact with you just to make sure you're getting everything you need. Once you and our staff have figured out the medical care parts of things, we can help you keep appointments and manage next steps. How does that sound? Sounds like a, a great idea. I appreciate it. It's good to know that you guys are here to support me. I'm glad you feel that way. What other questions do you have for me? Um, are there any HIV doctors in the area? Yes. So here is a list of places nearby that provide HIV care. So let's walk down the hallway to Rosa, and here's my card, and just a little bit more information that you can read once you're ready. You've done a courageous thing getting tested today. Please know that we're here to support you. I appreciate all your help. Mm -hmm.